are hearing from the 18-year-old employee who had a drink thrown at her and was the target of a racist rant while working at a smoothie shop in Fairfield. It was an incident caught on video that went viral on TikTok. The Fairfield father at the center of it was fired from his job at Merrill Lynch. Now he faces charges. News 12 Connecticut's Marissa Alter at Robex on Black Rock Turnpike, where the incident occurred Saturday. Marissa, this story is making headlines nationwide. It really is, Della. Employees here say that their phone has been ringing nonstop with people asking questions or just offering their opinion on what happened. Even people who've never been to the store before have come in over the past two days. You have no room to yell at us. I'm going to speak to the person who made this drink. This video shows James Iannazzo's profane tirade against young employees at Robex after a smoothie from there caused his son to have a severe allergic reaction and be hospitalized. The verbal rant then escalated. He like threw the smoothie at me and I was just like, like in my head I was just like, wow, like did you really just do that? Gianna Miranda says the comments then turned racist. Who are you? Immigrant loser. What? I've seen it on social media, like people like go through the same thing, but like to actually like experience it firsthand, like it happening to me, it was just like, wow. Like, like I just felt disrespected. Miranda says Iannazzo's smoothie order just asked for no peanut butter and never said there was a nut allergy. Next to our register, we have a thing that says to let us know if you have any like allergies to nuts because we have special blenders and different stuff that we use for people who do have nut allergies, like just like that. I can't say that it did or did not have peanut butter in it. It could have because he did have an allergic reaction or he could it could have been cross contaminated to where he did have an allergic reaction. Miranda tells News 12 she understands why Iannazzo got upset, but says that doesn't excuse his behavior. Iannazzo's attorney issued a statement apologizing, which says in part, when faced with a dire situation for his son, Mr. Iannazzo's parental instinct kicked in and he acted out of anger and fear. He is not a racist individual and deeply regrets his statements and actions during a moment of extreme emotional stress. I would like to have a face to face like him tell me to my face that he's sorry for what he's doing. Ayanazo is charged with intimidation based on bigotry or bias, breach of peace, and criminal trespass. That last charge is because police say he tried to get into the employees only area. You might have seen that in the video we just showed. He is due in court on February 7th. In Fairfield, Marissa Alter, News 12, Connecticut.